Scientists continue to debate whether other forms of life may exist throughout the universe, but those who believe we are not alone are also interested by the different methods of contact we could use in the future. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some predictions and theories in regard to life in the cosmos. Michio Kaku Predicts Alien Contact Michio Kaku has gained a reputation as a renowned physicist and futurist. Having written numerous books on scientific topics, gained popularity as a presenter, and achieved recognition as the co-founder of string field theory, he is well regarded as an authority in the field of science. Michio made headlines when he claimed that humans would encounter alien life forms within this century. Michio stated, I think we will pick up a signal from an intelligent civilization in outer space in this century. However, that doesn't mean we'll have a two-way conversation. They could be many hundreds of light years away, so it would take hundreds of years for a conversation to take place. But when that takes place, when we do eavesdrop on an intelligent civilization in outer space, that could be a turning point in the history of civilization on Earth. He claims that life throughout the Milky Way is inevitable adding that when we look out into the night sky, we must realize that someone could be looking back, also wondering if other life forms may exist in our solar system. Michio also claims that we won't just find any signs of life, but also intelligent life. Our galaxy is potentially packed with billions of Earth-like planets that could host a variety of different life forms. Although the actual number of exoplanets far exceeds the 4,000 that have already been recorded and verified, the number of Earth-like planets in our galaxy is estimated to be around 6 billion. Michio explains that when we do encounter life on other planets, we would first need to determine what category of species they are, breaking them down into three types. Type 1, Type 2 and Type 3 civilizations. A Type 1 civilization would be roughly 100 years more advanced than our current state on Earth. A Type 2 civilization would be stellar and would be a few thousand years ahead of us. A Type 3 civilization would be over a hundred thousand years more advanced, be able to control black holes and roam space at will. Kaku highlights the dangers we face when encountering other life forms, as we are Type 0. After intercepting otherworldly messages, he claims we would need to identify the type of civilization they are and the threat they pose. Though Michio thinks that for the most part they will leave us be, as there's no need to plunder our planet for resources, but they will no doubt be curious. Earth and other planets seeded with life Scientists around the world dedicate years of their lives in search for answers to life's biggest questions. This is no different for two astrophysicists from Harvard, who have proposed a theory on how life might have spread throughout the cosmos. Though the theory has initially been viewed with skepticism, Amir Siraj and Avi Loeb claim their theory should be taken seriously, and if anything, is too conservative when it comes to calculating how many times life-exporting events from Earth have actually occurred. So, the theory is, back when the solar system was more packed millions or billions of years ago, a gigantic comet came close to the outer reaches of our atmosphere. It was swiftly moving, several miles above the Earth's surface, too high to burn up as a fireball, but low enough that the atmosphere slowed it down. Exceptionally robust microbes were drifting up in its path, and some of those microbes survived the impact of the comet. These microbes ended up concealed deep within the comet's porous exterior, shielded from the radiation of deep space as the comet soared away from Earth and finally out of the solar system entirely. Thousands and millions of years went by before the comet ended up in another solar system with habitable planets. Finally, the comet collided into one of those planets, deposited the microbes, with many of them still living, and set up a new position for earthly life in the cosmos. Whether or not this actually happened is unknown, as there's no solid evidence that proves it. However, the pair of astrophysicists at Harvard claim that the depositing of microbes into a comet, which is then ejected from the solar system, should have happened. And not just once, 
but a few dozen times throughout the Earth's history. While the theory has been met with scepticism, there's actually good reason to suggest it's possible. In the 1970s, tests were carried out using a series of small rockets, which identified colonies of bacteria in the upper atmosphere. Comets do enter and leave our solar system now and again. A large comet could have grazed the Earth, and while comets are porous, it may have protected the microbes from radiation. Some microbes can also survive for surprisingly long periods in space. Siraj and Loeb suggested this happened multiple times, which may have caused other planets to be seeded with living microbes. One popular theory as to how life started on Earth also involves life being brought here on a comet which crashed into the Earth, kickstarting life as we know it. So our planet may have been seeded, or may have caused others in turn to be seeded. Stephen Hawking warns against contact with alien civilizations. During the last few years of his life, the famed physicist Stephen Hawking repeatedly warned humanity of the impending dangers we would face if we made contact with alien lifeforms. Hawking claimed that other lifeforms would try and destroy human civilization, but despite his allegation, he also helped to launch efforts to search for other intelligent lifeforms in the universe. When discussing the topic of finding other civilizations, he frequently referred to the history of humanity, as so often we've mistreated and even wiped out less advanced civilizations, so why would alien life forms not do the same to us? Despite this, however, it seems that his desire to seek out other life forms was greater than his fear. He was part of a new initiative called Breakthrough Listen that intended to listen for alien signals in the universe without broadcasting our own. Many scientists have voiced their concerns about broadcasting signals from Earth to other planets. A second breakthrough initiative is Breakthrough Message, which launched a competition with a $1 million prize to try to encourage members of the public to come up with ways in which we could send messages out into the cosmos in the hopes of contacting alien life. Though there are currently no plans to broadcast the signals, the competition will run purely out of curiosity for the moment. Hawking spoke about his fear at a breakthrough event, stating, We don't know much about aliens, but we know about humans. If you look at history, contact between humans and less intelligent organisms have often been disastrous from their point of view, and encounters between civilizations with advanced versus primitive technologies have gone badly for the less advanced. A civilization reading one of our messages could be billions of years ahead of us. If so, they will be vastly more powerful and may not see us as any more valuable than we see bacteria. In 2010, Hawking expressed, such advanced aliens would perhaps become nomads, looking to conquer and colonize whatever planets they could reach. As humans now look to become a multi-planet species, other more intelligent life forms may have already achieved it possibly plundering other planets for resources and establishing new colonies. Contrary to Hawking's fearful approach to reaching out to other civilizations, other scientists have taken a more positive approach, which are hopeful of a more cooperative future. Andrew Yan, co-founder and CEO of Cosmos Studios, is one of those more hopeful and voiced we may get to a stage in our future where we exceed our evolutionary baggage and evolve to become less violent and short-sighted. Hope is that extraterrestrial civilizations are not only more technologically proficient than we are, but more aware of the rarity and preciousness of life in the cosmos. Jill Tata, former director of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, also expressed more positive opinions about contacting alien civilizations. While Sir Stephen Hawking warned that alien life might try to conquer or colonize Earth, I respectfully disagree. If aliens were to come here, it would be simply to explore. Consider the age of the universe. We probably wouldn't be their first extraterrestrial encounter either. If aliens were able to visit Earth, that would mean they would have technological capabilities sophisticated enough not to need slaves, food or other planets. While scientists have different opinions as to how we should go about alien contact, if at all, 
The desire to know what else might be out there is something which piques human curiosity, and something many of us want to know the answer to. The truth is out there. It is only a matter of time before we find it. But what do you make of these interesting predictions involving extraterrestrial life? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.